boy. To this, um, we can't cook. Do I have to explain it again? No. We can't cook. We're idiots. No, think, yeah, but no, but we're either. funny with it. It's entertaining, and um, we're trying our best. That's 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 kind of the emphasis of the show. Anyway, so this is our fourth episode. I don't know how we've got this far. I don't know. But we're doing it again. We had a little break. We need last week to, to like recharge the batteries. Good. But we've come back and we've come up with good ideas. Especially for next week, Are this we? time. Yeah, next week you have. Okay. And then, now we've got a whole Indian style curry theme. We get... What's that? I'm, I'm for the production. No, you do, you're <laughs> doing well, mate. Well done, you're well done. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> right, right, let's just, let's, just, let's just get going. Cause no, no, yeah. you're, but you're saying, you're saying. Okay, okay, so we've done four episodes. We might do one, maybe another one, and, and then that's it, kind of thing. So yeah, that was well, kind of the first, season. the first phase. But this week, this week we're cooking. I said it, Indian curry. curry. In- a curry that's Indian, isn't it? Yeah. Indian curry. <laughs> Chicken curry, Chicken brackets, curry. easy. That's that's why I searched on Google, right? We're doing the easy that's version. Really, it's homemade, not like yeah, homemade, whatever but, they say. But it is, it's the cheap. Chicken curry, easy, off... Um, Wherever, the, wherever it was, uh, BBC or something. So we're literally, we're nicking the recipe as always. Normally, Psychic Mum helps us and then um, we kind of just work the it out. Team. This time, we've done our own research. We've got the recipe all, online. That's, that's best as you could. And we're gonna go for, anyway, we're waffling. So, You're chicken waffling. curry. We're chicken curry. Let's, let's yeah. go. Right, first of all, um, <laughs> top tip, get, get yourself organised. First yeah. top tip. Are we organised? No, we're not. <laughs> Right, okay, so what we need to do is get the oven on. Get the oven on. Right, you get the oven on. 180, about 7 o'clock, normal. 
normal. Always, wherever you wherever you cook, it's always at 180, like set, that's 7 o'clock. Yeah, so it's always anyways. the same thing. Right, I don't know why you grabbed the chicken, we don't need the chicken yet. No, I'm now, showing them what we're cooking with. Nice, succulent chicken breast. I have no idea, again, I, I can't stress that enough. If you put all this stuff in front of us, we'd probably just eat the nuts and just chuck the food around the place. Because we have not know what we're doing. Well, you've been chucking stuff. This, all this will time. tell us what to do. So, right. Oh, show them, it's our homemade <laughs> recipe. Oh, yeah, yeah. It goes back generations, this, this, this uh, old recipe. Oh, family knows it. It's an old Pentecost curry recipe. Right. Uh, number one, it says heat the oil in a flame proof casserole dish or a large frying pan. Does the Pentecost recipe. Right, so we need a frying pan. Get a frying pan. And we need to get some oil. Right, oil. Amazing. And we need to get oh, that going. And then. No, no, no the, the blue big one. one. The big blue one. The big, big blue one. one. Oh. Right. Now, what is this onion? Who? This is the gammiest, crappiest <laughs> onion I've ever seen in my life. Right. We need. A big, um, big ass right. frying pan. I mean, look at that! Oh, Jesus Christ! Thing. You could, you could cook a, a big ass, a lot of food in that. Right. First of all, we need rice. Right. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> cut and chop. <laughs> I had it this I, I cut, thinly chop. I don't know what thinly means. Um, I just like a little slice. Thinly slicer and onion. Where's right. That? Am That's I doing that or are you doing that? Are you using this knife? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Right. What we need to do is get the skin off first because it gets in the way. Do we need to cut the chicken? Uh, no. Was that not yet? Um, actually, no, that's not yet. Right. Do we mean two mines here? Do we need a whole onion? Is that a whole? That's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, one onion. One onion? Right. Hang on, you've got the top of it. Okay, so we need to, we need to finish chop an onion. This, this curry's got onions in. Clearly. Um, do you have, is it, do you get onions in curries? Is that a thing? Right. Uh, it's skin like I'm saying yes. Make sure the skin's off. I don't know, when I have a curry, I just, I just think meat and sauce. I don't, is there onions in the curry? And, and they're the special, but we can't onions. say that just yet. That's oh, a surprise. Right. Well, am I doing the onion? Yeah, you are. Oh, right. Oh, I can't There's quite a lot of work. Actually, it says five yeah, minutes. Relax, relax. It says, waving that knife. For this about. recipe, it says five, relax. five minutes preparation time. This. <laughs> Chin. Quadruple that for us. Quadruple that. Yeah, oh. I'm going to do it. Right, now what we need to do is get you a job first uh, as well. Right, now. Um, get prepared. I don't know what, what you can what, do. What am I doing? What you can do is maybe sort the rice out. Obviously, okay, can, yeah, and can, you can't have a curry without rice. So, you need to get a rice. Right, top tip. Top What's tip. the top tip? Rinse it. <laughs> Rinse it, get the starch. Top what tip. is this fucking. You have to do my language. This knife oh, is shit. Really, look, right, you can't help it. You just, have to chuck it. Right, what are you doing? Right, that knife that's is a, crap. That's a bread knife. Right, this is a bread knife. I call it trusty. Oh, I God. just use it for everything. Onions, Good cheese, God. cutting, whatever. It cuts through bloody everything. I don't care what anyone <laughs> says. Look at that. Look, short bloody work. Trusty. Bread knife. Top tip, use a bread knife for cutting anything. Right. Okay. How do you thinly chop an onion? Right, I've never a bread knife. I can't believe. I've just explained. It's so trustworthy knife. It's so trusty, but I can't very trustworthy. It. Okay. Um, if I start crying in a minute, then. Uh yeah, Crappy no, internet back. action. Right. Back. Right. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Right, I've done the top tip. Hang on, I'll slide them over the place. Rinse it, make sure it ain't starchy. How much water are we putting in? Yeah, how much water do we need? Psychic like mum. Just enough to cover it. Okay. Right, top tip, for the rice, just enough to cover it. You so, want to it rice isn't it. very, there's not a lot to rice there. So you need like a centimetre of water. Right, is that about it? Oh, that's it. Right. You need to say, it's above it, it's not just okay. it above it. Yeah, no, it's a bar. Uh, it's got room. Right, relax with that trusty. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, not, I'm not saying, like, if I slipped with it, it's like, you can't do anything. Yeah, it's just all, it's all, it's all jagged, yeah, but it's, 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 it's just Anyway, right. You're finally chopped. Finally chopped. Finally chopped. Oh, finally chopped. Yeah. How do you. Right. I've no idea how you do this, so finally chop the onions. So that, that takes up like, spending, so we don't need to do that just yet, but I'll put it for 
Do we like some okay. thickness in the onions? Do we have to have it thinly chopped? Well, it's our recipe, homemade. Yeah, can, can, right. recipe. Yeah, that's a good point, mate. That's a good point. Right, this is uh, chicken curry. Yeah, just like, leave it like that. Chicken curry uh, brackets easy. Easy chicken curry, we'll call it. Yeah. Um, but this is our twist on it. So that's if we right. deviate or add some stuff in, then. Um, Do we need this well, again? Well, we can. Yeah, so. You need Sorry? the end to, to strain the rice. Oh, okay, I'll just leave it out. Okay. I'll tell you what, onions. Um, you know, when they're cooked, they're good, but they're, they're bastards, aren't they? They're just, they're just, they're not they good, are they? They taste horrible, mate. They taste really bloody hurt. Right, I have no idea if I've done this right, okay. but finish chop on. So just take your own, um, yeah, get your own meaning from that, because I don't know what finish chopped. Right, let's, we need to get, are we spraying the It's a bit like a ham, isn't it? Okay. Like wafer thin ham. Is that what we're going for? Wafer thin onions? No, just give it a bit of thickness. You've got to taste it. Exactly. Are we spraying this in? Oh shit! What's that? No, not that. Oh, no, you, no, we don't need spray. spray. No, no, we don't need spray. We, no, no we're using proper oil. It says so. The recipe and says to use. Um, oh, splash. Christ, my eyes are going. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, tablespoon of no. Uh, what are you doing? Put the oil. I can't that. see. Um, Just a splash, right? No, you need the recipe is two right? tablespoons of. Um, Sunflower oil. Where, where are we going to But we don't have that, so uh, olive oil will do apparently. Any oil will do. If you've only got motor oil, then just put that in there. Right, two of these. Right. Here we are. Right, I don't know what psychic mom's playing in the background. <laughs> We've got obscure nighties playing in the background here. I don't, I don't know if you can hear that. Anyway, I hope you I hope you guys are all well. Um, oh, you bastard. Oh, I felt that. Bloody floor. That's going to stink now, isn't it? Yeah, it was all over my toes. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's well. We've... Um... Oh, it's sprayed on my toes again. <laughs> right, right. One, the two preparation time is five minutes. We've already got over that. We've not even cut the onions yet. Yeah, you're spraying all this stuff all over my toes. It doesn't know. matter. Quality over... Time. I don't know. Time. Time right. Time. Right. Um, Got this uh, right, started. Well, I don't know about my eyes running, but my nose is running. Does, does onions do that? Yeah, you're all over the place. Right. Yeah, this is going to be tip. thick onions. Top tip, get it around. So, the idea is to thinly chop the onions and then get it in the pan and cook for eight to ten minutes until mm. you've, uh, instead of brown basically, until you've Smashed them. Garlic and wheat. Normally, no, when the I garlic, the garlic. That's with, that's with this, right? I have no idea. Yep. Um, it is, isn't it? It's, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. Um, I tell you what. I tell you what. This onion has absolutely been smashed by uh, old trusty knife here. But yeah, um, eight to ten minutes until the bloody hell. What? I can't even see it. It's been smooth. Why is it so bright all of a sudden? The heavens have opened. Jesus Christ! And it's not raining. We've got how, a second sun all of a sudden. How would you even cut this? Look how small it is. Um, right. Top tip. Get your back. Get your big bastard pan going. <coughs> get that oh. heated up. Um, right. That's eight to ten minutes. Rice is about. We've about twenty minutes to do the rice. Let's get that right. So we won't and do that. That's ready. Boil. The warning to boil. So that's about that's, five, maybe. That's ready. But um, do we get it right? No, we're not quite ready for the rice yet, are we? So we'll do that in a minute. Right. Top tip. Wash your hands. I've probably you've gone down, bloody all gone out in there, haven't you? No, it's because it needs to go in here. Right. Right. We need two. Got one going. You're getting all the water all over my toes. That all over my toes. Jake, Jake's cutting something. I don't even, I don't even know what he's doing. Oh, like, golly, you never seen no golly practice before. for this whatsoever. Right. And he claims to be a chef. You don't know what I do not claim to be a chef. I can just about bloody do toast. Oh, right. You should hear this guy with a camera. It's crazy. Right. Oh, that's a, that's a good sound of the sizzle of the onions. <laughs> that's when you know that you're cooking. Right, the Hang onions on. are in. Hang on, so, move up, move up. Five to ten minutes yeah, until they are golden brown. Golden brown! Right, there we go. We don't need that anymore, do we? But I'm trying to get this skin off, and I'm trying to get it off. 
Why is it not? <laughs> you chucked you it on the floor. Why do I chuck things every time we do this? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> right. Okay. Woo! Yeah. Right. The onions are going. The onions are going. Next thing to do is let's get that. Right. Got to add a generous pinch of salt. So do that. That's not for this, is it? Yeah. Uh, just no, 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 no. A pinch. A pinch. Oh, that was a pinch. There we go. Get it all salty. Only add to the taste. Doesn't matter. I tell you what, I never have salt in anything. I don't even have salt in my chips now, pinch. so I'm making up for it now. Right, Mum, Psychic Mum, what's going on in the comments? Yeah, can you, can you get this um, going? Because I can't even see him from here. Yeah, um, Barbara Pentecost is saying she also uses mushrooms and peas. Mushrooms and um, peas, good idea. Rick is saying, good stuff, Barbara. Same here, hope everyone's safe and well. Um, and then... Same to you, Keith. And then you have your mum saying, Scott, are you making your own naan bread? No. No. And then Kieran, saying, Kieran saying a pinch, laugh, 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 laugh face. Oh, <laughs> that yeah, was yeah. not a pinch. Yeah. Right, we need to try it. Right. Doesn't matter. Salty, I like it. Taste. Where's what the we're talking garlic? about? Right, what have you done there? Right, we're not doing that, are we? Yeah, that goes in there. Right, you're supposed to crush the garlic. What? Well, I don't, no, don't want to eat it. That's the fucking. That's, that's the garlic. What are you talking about? You, you just right. said cut it up. You finally said it. Don't worry, you're right. You're right. Finally right. chopped. Right. 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 I can finally chop, but you said I'm okay. done. But you said I'm finished. Okay. I don't feel improvised. Let me put it in there. We've, uh, we've got our onions going. What's the thing you using? What? I'm just trying to <laughs> Right, it doesn't matter. Right. Use the tools that are good for you. Right, I used a bread knife to cut the onion. It worked. Right? You can't argue that. The onions are cooked. The onions are chopped and they're cooking. That's used for strain of egg, but it does the same bloody thing. It's a big spoon, basically. It does the same thing. I can right. move the onions around, it's doing the same job. Is Don't this, worry about is it. Is this finely chopped? Don't worry about it. Use your tools. Your tools. I'm so confused how right. you cut this. Go for it. Right, bang that in. Go right, on. We're supposed to crush the garlic. You, you, you can do the honours. What are you doing? You go and do the honours. Do the honours. Don't matter. Right, we'll have, we'll have crunchy garlic. It's fine. Don't go worry. Do the honours right. then. Lucky, it's fine. Lucky. Right. It's got to go in. And this? No, because we've got to do the onions. Onions for eight to ten minutes, and which they've been on it. for what? They've been on. The onions been for a few minutes now, so we've got oh, another, oh. another oh. five. Once the onions have cooked, we then end at the uh, garlic, I'll crushed garlic, not pepper. chopped, crushed. Hang on. So oh. Jake's only wrong, but, but we'll, we'll forgive him for that. Open the door. Jake, open the door. Right. You got to add the garlic and um, open the door. I've opened the door. Um, so we need garlic and ginger. Oh, it hasn't really helped what I've done, but it's um, I think it's better if you've got, um, you know, stem ginger cut for the proper right. stuff. Um, but if you need it instead, you can use uh, ginger and cheese. The cheap. paste works, yeah. The paste. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. So, oh, that's so coming up. Oh. Um, what are you doing? So, uh, just carry on. Okay. okay. Oh, when we cut the chicken, right. that's We're doing quite well, actually. Bloody, we're multitasking. Wait, oh, no, it's way too oh, high, yeah. mate. That is, that is bonkers. It's burnt it. It's already burnt it. It's onion. I didn't do that. You, I didn't turn that on. You that turned was you. That, on. that was so yeah, you. Okay. Who, okay, who turned it on? You guys are seeing that. Oh, crap. No, it ain't. Okay, the pan's a bit burnt now. Oh, I hope that doesn't destroy it. Then you're burning it. Okay. Right, the onion's browning off nicely. Yes. Top tip, don't have the flame down. up too high. Down. It's right down, right down. Because otherwise you burn the crap out well, of have you everything. Timed it? Have you timed it? Yeah, no, yeah. It's, yeah. it's enough, okay. it's done. It's enough. That's enough. They're burned, it's enough. No, no, yeah, until they're brown. A little, little bit longer, a little bit they longer. They are brown, they're right. black. They're not black. They're black. Oh, oh ye of little faith. What is going on? Right, put, right, put the bloody garlic in then. Right, how much right? Some garlic. Wipe the garlic in. This is doing my head in. Right. Let me do it so they can see. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Boom. You need, um, you need a thumb sized. Hang on. You need a thumb sized piece of yeah. ginger. So you do need to do ginger, you, you're waffling. Well, how do you. Yeah, but if it's in a pot, how do you measure out a thumb size of. Just a teaspoon. 
That's two about fun. Wait, 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 Garlic. Right oh, that smells good. I need to start cutting this. Onion, garlic, and uh, a thumb-sized amount of ginger. <laughs> All right. Now, that's in. That's going. Okay. Stage one. We've got it going. Okay. So, what have we got now? What have we got next? Hang on, they're both off, haven't they? Okay. We now, we now. Okay. Whilst that's cooking, now we start chopping the chicken. Let's bring that over. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Preparing. preparing. Jake, it's Jake. Oh, touch that. What are you doing? Right, careful, careful. Right, right Jake. Move out of the way, here we are. Here we are. Right, now, we need our chicken. So the recipe is actually for... Um, I can't even know. Six it. chicken thighs, boneless. <coughs> and oh, we've, gone, we've gone for an alternate We've got classic chicken breast. Yeah, they said boneless um, and all this now. You get more, it's cheaper and... Oh, uh, that's what we did. So, the chicken breasts are quite, I don't know how many grams there are, but we're going to have a, basically, so this recipe is for four people, but obviously it's only me and Jake, um, so we're just going to have a chicken breast each, so just however much chicken you need, basically, nah. put that in. Okay, right, I think okay. the onions and, and all that sort of stuff is done. How, so, would, you, how would you want this served up? Come right, on, hang on. on. Okay, now the recipe on. specifically says... That like cube type. It says... That Pentecost family recipe. Chunky three centimetre pieces. Now, if you're wondering why the tape measure is out. Yeah, I was confused. That's why, okay? It was going on about this where's, elaborate where's the tape, plan. Where's the tape measure? Oh, oh. Up there. Now, a lot of people don't know what three centimetres are. It is. How, how long is three centimetres? What does that mean? <laughs> Just carry on. Been... What does that mean? Just carry <laughs> Right. Just over an inch. Tape, tape measure up. Just over an inch. So there's lots of ways you can you can measure that. But if you're not sure, then oh, this professional cutting is insane. Get a tape measure. Sign right? me up. Sign me up. We don't use this enough in cooking. Chefs across the land. Tape measure. Right. The so three set. Right. Three centimeters is very big. Oh shit. Right. Three, three centimeters is. That, that's pretty small, that's an inch. That's how big right. the chicken's got to be. Guys, that's that's an inch, just so you know, all right? Okay. Yeah, right, your ch the chunks are way too big, mate. I'm They're over. It. I'm not done, mate, I'm not mate, done. Relax. Mate, what are you doing? That, I mean, you... These are... Relax. Just, just wait. Right, those chunks perfection, you're cutting... Perfection, right, takes measuring. time. But it's right, perfection you're, they're, they're, that's at least four centimetres. What are you doing? Why are you measuring the what chicken? Because we say it's three centimetre chunks. It just, I'm just going by the recipe, oh, all right? man. Right, so Jake's cutting the chicken. Jake's cutting Two the chicken. To perfection. I'm trying to discredit my work. <laughs> okay. I'm trying right, to so get we're a We're going to cut the chicken. And then... What's the time now? Woo! Okay. Right. Once, once the chicken is cut, we'll add that to the pan. So we'll do that in a minute. Um, oh, cut. I need one more breast. Remember, the rice takes 20 minutes. So we're going to get that going as well. We're doing now. Yeah, we're going to go. Right, so that's obviously from boil. So at the minute, it's cold it's water on a, on a hot flame. God, oh. look at Jesus. It's so need... bright, isn't it? Hang on, turn, turn the light off. Um, so, yeah, from boil. So I'm going to get that going. Top tip, prepare, okay? Right now, what I said about our own uh, take on this is we've got, we've got rice and curry. Classic, you need rice with curry, otherwise you've just got a dish of this can change sauce your life. of meat, it would, it which would is ridiculous. Your life. Yeah, right. It would change your life. Now, you may have seen, our close friends may have seen that we had an epic takeaway last night. Chinese, you may have seen that your local Chinese... So I don't know, what's what's going on with Chinese? I think there was a big uh, there was a, a big stigma, a bad a bad stench uh, from with Chinese. Not being racist, that's obviously like where apparently where coronavirus originated from. I don't know if that's what it was, what? but the big thing was it seemed to be that no one get ingredients for a bloody good Chinese. So yeah, it's just Chinese the shops were shut, couldn't get a takeaway for love nor money. You had to deal with whatever you can get from the supermarket. Anyway. The, soup, the, the supermarkets, the, um, the Chinese takeaways are now open, and bloody hell did we well, pounce. We pounced last anyway. night, we ordered a takeaway, Chinese takeaway, and Christ it was nice. 
For lunch, we had we, we had spares, we had leftovers. I had it mainly. You had it mainly. For lunch today, I had a nice bit of sandwich, crisp, and chicken balls. That's why I had today for lunch, and Christ, it was, it was nice. Jake thing. finished the rest of the, the, the Chinese. Hang on, what's that? Some guy with a tape measure. What's that all about? What's going on? Why is there a tape measure going on? Anyway, know. what are we going to have about Chinese takeaways? Because that's what we had last time. It's leading into the specialty. Chips. chips. Oh, go on, you're leading into the specialty. Thank specialty you. that I changed your life. Right, my partner left. Uh, right. My partner. When we ordered, when we ordered takeaways, this we always have chips. Man. Wherever it is, generally, this is pizza. I think that's the only thing we always have chips. I'll have chips with pizza. Chips goes with anything, any bloody dish that you can think of. Chips will work its way in. Chinese, especially, is one of them. We've prepared now, these already. For the older members on here, well, most people, most most people watching this, apart from the kids, when you order Chinese, yes. you used to get the fat Chinese chips. They were like potatoes, basically, but cooked in Chinese fat and stuff. Beautiful. Come in like the, like the brown paper bag. Oh, lovely. They're not, not, not so much like that now, but still, the, oh you God. need chips with a Chinese. Just put it in the chai. Okay. You dip the, the chips in the and curry the, sauce and the, oh, the oh, sweet and sour. Yeah. It's lovely. Anyway. We're going to do the same tonight. We're going to have chips with curry. That, that was really like long and apologised for going on. But we're going to have chips with our curry. Curry and chips works grand. Probably only second to fish and chips. Right, now. These, these are the ones we prepared earlier. <laughs> right. Right. We're getting to that. Right. The rice. The rice. Right. We're going to now prepare the chips. We'll get a fresh potato from the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Which my system's done here. Mate. Jay, speak, put, put the music up a little bit so I can hear it. Right, now. How it goes? We need to get the chicken going. Yeah, the chicken's hot. Okay. How much is it? Let me, uh, let me just how, get the recipe. I mean, how many should I cut? <laughs> hey, on. That's, that's Jake cutting the chicken, the chicken, the chips. Yes, that looks like you've cut enough Is chips that there, Jake. Enough? That looks enough, yes. Man, um, look at that. Wow, look at that, mate, that's you double insane. quick time. I didn't even see the potato come out, that's mad. Right, okay, so we chop the chunky chicken to three centimeter pieces, Peters. Add, the, add to the pan and fry for five minutes and stir in through, right, right okay, so we need to do it for five minutes. Right, oh, no. now. I feel like we're on the edge of um, cooking this all up. Right, let's get, no, all, the, get all the chicken in. <laughs> We've got this all under control. Guys, a lot what of chicken. What about these? Where are these Hang on, I've got one. Okay. If it comes to a seat or not. Right. Right, the chicken is in and we're going to get that going. So get that for, get that going, five and minutes. freshly cut chips are just done. They're going in as well. <laughs> exactly. Right. Have you got the timer? Do you say that? 20? 30? Okay. So. We'll get the um, we'll get the get the meat cooking, and then right, 35 for them. once the uh, the meat starts to brown off, we'll then Ooh. add. How long has this been in for? Have you checked? Uh, yeah, uh, about five minutes. But once it starts boiling, that's 20 minutes. Okay. So, ooh, we're kind of fine. Right, the freshly cut chips are in. Um, <laughs> and I've learned a new tactic to do it really fast. Right, Psychic Mum, what's going on? Practicing. So, um, Paul has said, were the chicken balls three centimetres? No, they were huge. They were like no, they were massive. Strips. They weren't balls, they were strips. Kieran said, Chinese chips and gravy. Yes. Because that's what you do, you dip it in. It's so good. Barbara's saying, top tip. Top tip. To get top chips. tip. Top tip, um, mate. Like. Greg is saying, Chinese munchie box is brilliant here. Licky face, licky face. Oh, Chinese licky box. Well, what's it, box what, what do you say, licky box? Yeah, the, the face with the licky lips. There's a bit of chicken, So that's where we are. What is it with Chinese? Like, you have Chinese, and I, I'm still full up from it last night. I don't really hey, need this curry, Henry's to be honest. Henry's saying hello, Scott. Who? Henry. Oh. Saying Henry. Hello, hello, Henry, old friend. My old friend. How's it going, my friend? friend. How can I say friend? Friend! Friend! <laughs> um, right. You okay. Have you gone burn them as well. <laughs> Will you give it a rest, <laughs> my burn, friend? Jesus. Why am I calling you my friend now? I don't know. <laughs> I've had too many beers this afternoon. <laughs> friend. Right. Okay. The chicken is cooking. 
Now we need to add some stuff to it. I'm just going to read what we need to put on it. Okay. Um, okay, so we need spice paste. Spice. Okay, spice paste. Oh. We need that. Okay. This is we need, prepared we need, as well. We need three. Right okay, three tablespoons of oh. spice paste. So you put that in. Where's the tablespoon? Is that the big one? Yeah. Okay, let me read this off. Okay. Quite important. It's not really a curry without that. So get some of that in there. Let's go. And you need 400 grams of chopped tomatoes. Oh no. Oh, so the uh, uh, the cool Relax. Relax. Are you prepared earlier? Are we taking me out? No, it's a pool. No, no, we're just getting out. Oh, he's getting the. Uh, no. Relax. Relax. What, what is it this? Please. Okay. Jake loves to say relax. Please, relax. He's, he's, he's all over relax. the place. You're all over the place. No. You are. No. How much paste do you need? Four. Four. I just said four. Four, four tablespoons. Four are, we, tablespoons. are we putting it in there? Yeah. Yeah, straight in. Sure. Yes. Right, you get that in. Actually, right. Your mum's saying cheating. You should make your own spice mix. It is, it's a curry. How do you make your own spice mix, yeah, Mum? Easy, easy. No, that's what I do. We prepared do, this you know. earlier, we just jarred it up. <laughs> what was Sainsbury's logo on it? <laughs> this is how oh. you make a quick curry, though. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is free. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> the rice is going a bit crazy. Let me. Oh man! Right, right. Get, get that stirring. Look at that. Get that sweet, Ooh. get that sweet ass sauce in there. Woo! Oh, that smells good. That smells good. Great well, saying. Everything in the box. You get chicken balls, spare ribs, all the favourites. We got ribs. There we go, boys and girls. That's what it's looking like so far. Whoa! Look at this. Put that This is what I mean by relax. He's almost tipping everywhere. Right. Right, now you've got all that, uh, all that in there, so add 250 the uh, millilitres of water. Oh. It um, makes a it? sauce, it'll be runny salt, but then it will just um, uh, uh, go most saucy. Why am I doing this so much? Right. Okay, 250 mils of water. Yeah, because you don't want it to be paste, you want it to be actually sauce. So obviously adding the water. Top tip as, as, as Top tip. Say. Get the water in there. <laughs> Woo yeah! There we go. That'll be really saucy, but it'll basically what's the bloody word? Like evaporate, I don't know. It'll just like what can like congeal or something. It'll just get it'll mix together, make it saucy. Until it reduces. Oh. It will reduce down to a lovely sauce. Why are we so bright? I don't have no idea. Look look at that, shut up my head like crazy. Um Basically, reduce it down to like how you want it. Basically, but well, okay, I'm saying basically lots now. Friend, basically, right? Oh, um, Getting yeah. the light source all you over the place. Oh, I'm saying basically again. Um, you need to do this for 25 to 30 minutes now. So just simmer. If you don't want it boiling. Yeah, but you always do. Just simmer. Just simmer. Just lay. Just simmer for 25 to 30 minutes, and that will cook beautifully. All the meat will marinate, the onions, the sauce. Um, oh, I've got leaves. What will come out of the end of it is curry, basically a beautiful curry. This this lie, we didn't we didn't we didn't. Yeah, it's the sun. It's coming straight. Oh, it's going right. now. Hey, we need the light back on. Yeah, no, we're dark. <laughs> right. Now we're too now. dark. The sun's all over the place. The sun needs to relax. Okay, I think I think we. Quite, we've, we've come very far, mate. We've done quite well. Paul so, said, top tip, you always need to make your sauce saucy. Exactly. You don't want to like... Okay, yeah. so what we've got, we've got the rice cooking. That's going. We've got the chips in the oven. Freshly chip, chips, chips, cut chips in the oven. Cook your chips for about 30, 35 and minutes. You want them crispy. Doms. But we've got popper popper doms. Doms. No, we... We looked up making naan breads and popping on the stuff. No chance we'll burn oh, the house yeah, down. We we're, not, we're not doing that's that. That's like a whole separate yeah, th food. This is hard enough as it is. So Dang we've well, got the curry cooking. We've got a few more ingredients to put into the curry. We've got the rice cooking. Uh, we've got the chips going. We've got pop doms going. Don't forget your meal, Vic. Let's do your that's meal. That's right, yeah. Um, 
Mate, we're actually doing quite well. What's the time? 34 minutes in. We're doing 34 for you, for, for people who know what that means. Um, we're doing all right. Okay. So, right. I'll, 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 where, where are we? Have we done preparing everything? Just so... Yeah, I think, I think we're good. If you've kept up, then you know now how to make an easy chicken curry. Homemade uh, special from the family, Armyed. Oh, right, some questions. The psychic mum, is there any questions? Uh, any, uh, what's going on? No, there's not any Don't questions. Don't say it like that. Um, <laughs> Henry's saying he's making his own Chinese going to be brought by a nice man and expertly presented on a plate. I like it, I like it. Okay, Hashtag okay. homemade. Okay. Um, homemade, delivered, Chinese. Mum, mummy P is saying looking good boys. Okay, And um, Thank you. Harry Potter is saying 34. 34 for you, Gary Potter. Right, curry stories. We want your curry stories. Yeah, any experiences gone wrong, gone right, it just, what's, what's, what's gone up? Tell us about your first curry, a hot curry. Yeah, what's the, the, what's the, the, what, the day after, was it good, was it bad, you know what I'm talking about. How Skip. is your curry? How's your curry? Tell us about, we want your curry stories. So. Ruby Murray. Your Ruby Murray stories. Um, so tell us about the curry stories. Um, got a lot of rides. I know, yeah. Yeah, we are, yeah we're going. We're going. <laughs> My earliest memory of going for buying a curry was in Dunstable. And we used to go to this particular place. Mum, tell me what the place was called because I've forgotten. It's not going anymore. Well, side Street. What's the place called? It's a curry, duns- curry house in Dunstable. I've forgotten the name of it. Anyway, curry house. We'd, we'd order it. We'd, we'd go and get it. We'd go and collect it. I know but exactly every time, on. every time we used to go and collect it, there's a little bar and restaurant in in, in there. Oh, the you could sit and eat there. Freebies. They would always give me an after eight mint. So I'd not, every time, I, without doubt, I'd be in the car. Oh yeah, I'll go with you, I'll go with you. Ah, you want your half in, don't you? Padma, 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 Padma and Curry in Dunstable. They used to, every time, they loved my, believe it or not, my uh, my golden blonde locks that I used to have when I was a kid. And um, they used to give me an half <laughs> mint every time I used to go and cook the curry. So that was one of my earliest memories. Boring, but there we go. Jake, curry? Um, Probably um, Bayern Munich are winning 5-2, top tip. Top tip, 5-2, wow. Uh, are they top or? They are top. I reckon Lewandowski so scored. Oh, I've just done my 10,000 steps. Done my 10,000. <laughs> yeah, boy. 10,000 steps, baby. Okay, the curry's still uh, reducing. Right, what's Jake? Yeah, anyway, Jake is about the curry. I think we we then let me. So I think you can probably back me up here. But I think I used to have it when I was like a baby as like the paste. That's like not even curry, but it's flavoured. And then, just basically like every week I've had it. <laughs> Your first food you used to love was chicken curry and it chicken came in curry. a jar and it was baby food. Yeah, so it's just paste, chicken curry. but chicken curry. And he, he got just... it in his eye. Oh, you, you've done all sorts to me when I was a kid. He got it in his eye, do you remember? <laughs> yeah, I got curry in Jake's eye. I was feeding him when he was a toddler and somehow I missed his mouth went into his eye. <laughs> just, you know, it's an easy mistake to have to make. Chicken curry it was. Sorry about that, mate. But at least I was eating chicken curry all my life, basically, so... Jake's very, a very passionate curry... Uh, enthusiast. Well, I'm not going to say I'm passionate, but... I'd say he loves good. chicken it's, curry. It's, it's got to be up there, surely. Top tip in Dunstable, uh, Anarkali, um, oh, is a good Indian it's restaurant. so good. Very good. Hi, South, recommend insane. it. So, curry halloumi, stories. They do halloumi curry as well. They do halloumi yeah. curry as well, but one, very one good, for the very veggies. good. One for the veggies, if you don't want uh, meat. So on your curry stories, um, ah right, well we've got some facts, we've got some facts about curry, we're, you're, waiting. You're, we're you're, waiting, you've got the facts, so go on, bring, bring up right. the facts. Fun okay. curry facts. Fun curry facts. Curry, curry, well, while curry. you do that, <laughs> I don't know how it's going to sound, but like, have you had any, any experiences with Indians at all? Like, I don't know. I, I, skip, I skipped that one. <laughs> what I, do you mean, mate? Well, it's in, I don't know, like, you've gone to a restaurant, are they nice? I don't know. Have you I ever been, I have you, they're very nice. Have you ever been to India? Let's just get some Indian... True, like, yeah, have you been to India? What's your experience of India and Indian people? Psychic Scott, mum. Scott Pentecost from the USA said, had never had a curry. Scott Pentecost from the US of A, you've yeah, never been, had a curry. You should have a curry. Right. 
Pay attention. 100%. I hope you paid attention. You made some notes. Go and buy. Right, my friend. Have a curry. Chips. Trust me. Oh, the chips are good for dipping. Oh. Scott Bradley was from Indiana. Go to tonight. Right, because I know it's. In, I think it's in the morning where you are. No, it wouldn't be morning. It'd be like midday. Because they're like five no, hours. No, no, Indiana is uh, I west. Like, I spent like five hours. So I reckon hands. they're about four or five hours behind us. So it's, so it's about midday, early afternoon. Anyway, Scott Pedic was from the USA. We've run that out of water. You, uh, I think your mission done. for today is to go and have a curry and then report your experience not, of having a curry no water left. in America, no water in left. Indiana. Okay. <laughs> so go and do that. Okay. Yeah, so we want any any uh, any curry stories, any coming through? Yeah, everyone's saying hi to Scott in the US of A. Um, he's a fan favourite. He's more popular than me, he's and I'm the funny presenter. He's a fan favourite. <laughs> Paul has said, never put curry in your bird's eye. <laughs> Never has a true word been spoken. Never put curry in your bird's eye. Right. Top ten. No, no, you've got your facts. In a baby size. Sorry, I went it wrong. Right, okay. In a baby right, hang on, here. Psychic yes. mum has just read Paul. Said, Paul has, quote, mum read out that Paul said, never put curry in your bird's eye. That's what I was confused. What did he actually say? Baby size. Baby size. Baby size. Baby size. Okay, that worse. makes more sense. I don't know what's worse. Okay, I saw him, I was like, hmm, never put curry in your bird's eye. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah never do that. Yeah, but what's worse? What? Baby's Probably eye. Probably yeah. Don't put curry in a baby's eye. Top tip. What's worse, though? And don't, don't, when, when click, click, clicking, click, what am I talking about? I clipping. Know, clipping their nails. Don't clip the top of the, the, yeah, the, 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 the finger off. Chop my thumb off. Well, I've chopped his thumb off. Well. The tip, anyway. Right, anyway. Top 10 hot what? facts. What's Nan said? I about see curry. It. Hope these two don't put you off trying to curry. No, trust me, just have it. Ooh, She's why not do that? I think she means off. Oh, right. Top ten trust me. hot facts about curry. Okay. Go on. Number one. Hit the me. word curry, in a gastronomic sense, is thought to derive from the Tamil Karil. So you can't even say it. Which was a sauce about? served with rice. I have no idea what that means. Let's get that one. Right. The you first recipe, one. believe it or not, the first recipe in English... To make a curry, is this the India way was in ha- was in Hannah Glass's right, Art of Cookery, published in 1747. The first curry was in 1747. Well, right. O- o- so to be honest, anyway. we've been eating curry longer than India. <laughs> to what? be honest, 1747, we discovered it before then. <laughs> it's their dish, isn't it? Yeah, but that's we must like have done it. But that's that's like older than time. Right. It's been a few uh, hundred years ago. So, Gary Potter said, never put curry in your japside. <laughs> never put curry in the japside. Definitely and, going down. Um, Mr. Beerman said, can the next show be babysitting with the boys? Oh, God. And Greg has just put loads of laughing faces with the tears. <laughs> babysitting with the boys. Yeah, that's one way of doing it. Right. The third fact from Curryville is, Believe it or not, there's 9,000 restaurants in the UK that serves curry. 9,000. So, never complain that you can't get a curry. There's, there's 9,000 friggin' restaurants there's probably in probably a lot in London and stuff, because you'll see that's the capital. Yeah. You see restaurants To be honest, about 6,000 of them are in Luton. <laughs> Alright? Oh, um, right, before we refer to food, curry meant a way to prepare leather or the parts of an animal slain in a hunt that were given to the hounds. So these are, these are a bit random. What, so what we would be doing, like, oh, I'm preparing the curry, would mean like, what, you're getting like leather armor or something? Or I what? love this fact. Right, everyone remember this because you can tell your grandkids this, okay? All right. The town of North Curry, the town <laughs> of North Curry is in Somerset, but West Curry is in Cornwall. <laughs> I leave that with you. At least you probably no one cares. Right, so let's get, let's get, these, let's oh, get through these. Okay. Um, Paul has said, fun curry fact, the word curry is a British word. Big up, Britain. Curry means actually sauce. I think it means sauce, actually. You're fine. So yeah, but you said if, when you British say curry word. sauce, you're actually saying sauce sauce. <laughs> right, okay. Six. A record tower of 1,280 poppadoms was piled up in Northampton to celebrate Curry Week in 2012. It was 5 foot 8 inches high. 
Yeah, that's quite high. That's quite high. Nearly 1300 Papa Dogs. Uh, that's quite high. It's just like it's about there. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> phrase to give, give curry is Australian slang for abusing or expressing anger of someone. I'm the curry. Hey, to give curry, mate! <laughs> to give curry! <laughs> that was more cockney, wasn't it, to be honest? In 1987, Indian military scientists announced the development of the first long life japati. What's a japati? It's the, um, the bread. Flat like bread. flatbread. Well, right. Like I've got a curry fact for you. Curry from, fact. From Mummy P. Mummy P. She said there's no such curry word in the English language. Nearest they get is gravy. Gravy. Well, curry is. Gravy is the nearest to word to curry. Yeah. So there's no word of curry in the Indian language. The nearest you get is. Isn't it? But that's like their specialties. So How's it not in their dictionary? Right, read out number nine and ten. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on the. I'm gonna check on the chips. Okay. What number nine and ten? Nine and okay. ten. Commercial cheddar first appeared in Britain in 1780 and was sold at some perfume warehouse in London. It's a bit random. Why is Woo! it a perfume house? Like a uh, factory or whatever. Okay. What is this? As the Fotia. As, 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 it's like Asda. <laughs> which is a spice often used in curries. And it's also known as the devil's dung. <laughs> Ten things you never knew about curry. Ooh. Another tip from um, Scott Pentecost in the US of A. The USA has 6,000 Indian restaurants that serve curry. That's, how do we 6,000? That's mad. That, that's quite, well... And the UK has 9,000, yet we have... Cool, we're, what? We're like the size of like a state. Yeah, we've like got a quarter of the population of the US. Amazing. You guys are you guys are way behind. They have like 300 million, like they're insane. It's not as popular, is it? Right, okay. Yeah, they were like is it always done? And... Yeah, it's yeah, done. Yeah. yeah. I think, actually, I didn't even taste it. Is it good? Okay, found the rice is done. The chips are cooking. Now... That we are, boring, we're though. getting it, it's, yeah, it's got to reduce down. So the curry is cooking, oh, okay. it's got to reduce down. Chips. Um, I'll tell I you know. what we've got to do next. Basically, to get a nice creamy consistency, <clears throat> we need some yogurt. Uh, full fat Greek yogurt. I think you can use lower fat and stuff, but if you want a good taste, you want a full fat yogurt. the blue one. So, in a bit, we're going to stir through the yoghurt, and that is, that is, I know I should know this, but again, I'm a dipstick, I don't know what I'm doing, I need directions. Relax. Relax. Chillax. Well, uh, 100 grams Ooh. full fat Greek yoghurt, um, you need some coriander and some ground almonds. You need about a fifth of that. No. Oh. You need about a fifth of so that. You need 50 grams of, of um, ground almonds. Of and a small of bunch of coriander. Right, is this going in now? Chopped. Yeah. Okay. But now, you reckon now? A couple of big spoonfuls. Right, chop that and put that in. That's 100 grams. A couple of big how, much, how much is in there? 500. Go on, a little bit of fresh stuff. Mm, so one, one more, one more, one, one more. One more. Go, one more. Go on. Okay. And then... Coriander. Coriander. Get, get the coriander the in shakes. there. Oh, that, right. tell you what, now mate. Now, this is a pinch. Couple of shakes, not what you've done, Ooh, half yes. the salt you, pot. You wanted the little, the little holy one. That is looking one. good, uh, boys. Oh, okay. One should have little holes in it, yeah. Oh. Couple of shakes. Right, excuse. Oh. A bit more. It's <laughs> not coming out. Shake it. That's it. Right. Is that enough? How much do you think put in? A pinch in it. Yeah, I've done a few shakes. Small that should, bunch. That should be about enough. And then. And then get the. Get, Okay, get that. So the I coriander know, is in, spill it. and then we need the almonds. You need 50 grams, that's so probably about half. Say. Okay. Okay. Hey, how much is that? About half. About half. There we go. Oh, Freshly wow. cut almonds. That's what you want. Should now, from the garden, you could homemade. put, if you really can't be arsed, just chuck the almonds in. Whole almonds. <laughs> Let's be done with it. That's we've got, we've do. got some chopping machine that Vic helped us with earlier on. And that done the business. That chopping the machine. Chopping machine. What, what's it called? Uh, Psychic Mum? 
Mowgli. What's it called? The chopping machine? Moo, moo mixer. Moo, moo mixer. mixer. Mooly mixer. Mooly mixer. That's what we call it anyway. But it's a it's a food processor. Okay. Just it just chops stuff. Food processor. Just pretty. Oh, I'll tell you what. That looks good. Chopper. I'll tell you what. Look at that. Mind your arm. Mind your arm. Yeah, look I'll, at I'll that, that, mate. Look at that. Hang on. You're gonna spill that. Woo! Yeah, boy. That looks good. Right, are we are we, are we trying that? Because I don't really know. <laughs> Have we got any curry stories? Anything come through, Mum? No, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll no curry stories. Come on. What's the highest curry you've had? Highest curry. I mean, literally, I'm a pussy. I, when I go out, That's I have a korma. Yeah. I'll be honest. I'm not I'm not a big chilli... F- I'll just go for like a lot. I can handle it, but I don't... No, you can't. I don't like um, it. Paul Beeman has said, what is on Scott's shirt? It's Santa driving a rocket. Santa's driving a rocket. I just decided it's to be a bit different Half Halfway tonight. through the year, he's wearing Santa stuff. Why not? Hey, Santa, why not? Why not? Change Santa. it up. No, no. Changing the game. Santa is not just for Christmas, it's for life. Kieran has said foul. I'm assuming he's saying he's hot as curry. Foul? Right. Foul. Actually. I don't even know what it is. P-H-A-L. I can tell you. Apart from my dad, who uh, used to eat um, some hot curries, Kieran Basquiel, who, who, who is a viewer of this show, is, uh, is insane. We went to a restaurant in Luton called. He um, said he ate half of it. Fair enough. He ate what? Hot. Kieran. He ate half of it. We put him in a spoonful of the sauce. We went out one time in Luton, and Kieran Basquiel ate these uh, 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 chicken wings, which were called atomic chicken wings. He ate them like it was bloody popcorn, and then. He had a few beers, went home and ordered himself a spicy pizza as well. Oh, we He's just some, insane. We got coming in. Didn't think anything of the next day. Inhuman. Mr. Beerman said he's had a foul and a vindaloo as part of the same meal. Lad. Oh! Fucking lad. Um, James Alder <laughs> said he's had a vindaloo in a restaurant but not got to a foul yet. And um, Sam Basquiel said atomic wings. Atomic wings. Right. Guys, what's the restaurant? Just, just I'm so thick, I can't remember anything. Um, it was, I don't know which one you mean. What's it freaking called in Luton? It's called something like red chilli. No, not that no, one. not that one. What, what one is it? The restaurant in Luton. Guys, what, the Atomic Wings, where do you buy them from? Remind me what it's called. That is looking good. That yeah, is looking damn good. good. It's actually looking, that is looking good. It's looking better than I thought. Right, we are nearly there. We are nearly there. I'll tell you what, we've done this Papa Jay's in Luton. And the chips are Thank about you. 10. 10 minutes left, so. Now. I need a cup of Jay's. Oh, the right. rice is done, the chips are nearly cooked, your curry is basically done. Mate, we have smashed it this week. Actually, we've, 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 we've done it too well, uh, to be honest. We actually might finish within the hour this time. Yeah, I need to, I need to, I think okay. we, we need to, like, just, you know, just grow some balls and just eat some hot stuff. I'm terrible. I go to Nando's and even, like, the mild stuff, like, blows my head off. I'm, I'm terrible. But I'm not, you Mango know, I suffer the next day as well. It's not just like, oh, I can't eat this The saying. next day, I'm crying on the toilet. <laughs> right, have we got, should we say some stuff about India I've got up? Right, Jay's got some facts about India. I don't know what his obsession is, but... I keep but... hitting my head. Right, what do you... No, because it's like Indian right. theme curry. Ah, oh, stun myself from... Is his name Clive or whatever it is? Colin. Colin, Clive, same thing. Right, apparently... I'm trying to burn myself. In India, there's a floating post office. <laughs> as the... They have the largest postal network <laughs> with over... What's what? Why is it floating? How is it floating? Explain that. Well, it's on water. Hang on. What Damon? It serves 7,000 people in Dal Lake Srunga, something like that. And they come up in 2011. <laughs> okay. The Kembal Mela uh, gathering, <laughs> you can see from, well, you could have seen from space from 2011 because over 75 million people turned up and because there are so many people you could see from space which is kind of crazy say that again mate so the chem yeah gathering you could see from space how many people 
Oh, there was over Jesus 75 Christ. million. How do you say that? Kem, cum, cum, uh, K-U-M-B-H, Mela, M-E-L-A, gathering. You can see all the people gathering in one spot from space. In 2011. That's insane. Uh, that's, that's actually mad. 75 million people gathering in the same place. They have the wettest in, uh, habitable place in the world, which is this village, which just basically rains like all the time and it's just insane. <laughs> it has the record for the most rainfall in a cal- calendar year in 1861. That is awesome. Wanna read a song? Uh, no, I think we've, we've kind of got to the end. Big, um, I haven't got that fit, I can't get the uh, stream up. So, so yeah. we've got a brilliant story from uh, Paul Beerman about his dad ordered an Indian takeaway when he was drunk. When he got home, he realised he only had the paper bag handle in his hand. <laughs> I, see it, I don't know if that come out. I don't know if you could hear that. Go on, say again. <laughs> so, but I've just got I've just got this story from uh, from Psychic Mum, but Paul Beerman has posted uh, a story about his dad, who ordered an Indian takeaway. Uh, he walked with the takeaway all the way home, only to realise that he got home and he only had the paper handles. <laughs> <laughs> the bag obviously drunk. dropped at some point. He's got him. He only had the handles. That is, that is. That is his best Love it. That is the best story. story. That, that is classic. Gay, that is classic. Thank you, mate. That's cool. Right. I think we're uh, just about time to serve, yes. serving up. Let me check the time for the chips. Are they the chips are all like? Oh, they're, they're they're nearly done. They're nearly done. Don't matter anyway. They, they still got like five minutes, so yeah. they're basically almost done. Now, top tip: get your rice sorted out. It's not really a top tip, is it? Hang on, I'm having a bowl. Oh, you want a bowl? Yeah, what about chips? Where are the chips going to go? Don't worry, they See, I've got it sorted. What do you say? You can use all paper wherever you're watching. Okay. Woo, yeah, get that basmati nice rice. Fluffy rice. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that, my boy. Right, mind? Actually, I can move you up there, really. Why do you just do yours all at once? Ooh. Mm. How much rice do you want? Just like... That it? There's quite a lot there. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, top oh. tip, don't do too much rice like we have. Judge it. Christ and we through the whole street with this. Oh. Right. Okay, let's it check on the chips. But it's really hot. Let's <laughs> check on the chips. Oh. Okay, I made mean the chips are done. Oh, they're quite that bad fun. Mommy P has mentioned that it's Jake's 16th birthday on Tuesday. Yes. My boy is 16 on Tuesday. <laughs> Wish him a happy birthday. Right. Kieran's put birthday with the boys. Birthday with the boys. Oh. Right. I think the curry is done. woo Look at that, boys. Mate, that is looking good. Right, why you serve that up? I know. I could do a little hint for next time, which could, which that uh, birthday with the boys. Where's the spoon? Sort of, oh, cool. Uh, you. Where's the spoon? Just use this. Actually, that's a bit. That's a. Uh, that's a. Oh, it's, it's here. It's here. No, you need the big spoon. No, no, the big spoon. Where is it? It's been there. Oh, it's here. Oh, it's in the right. Right, go on, Jake. What are you saying? So, sort places. So for next time, as a, like a little hint, since you've done the, was it, uh, the Ruby and the tennis Donny, I can't remember his name. Murray. And, and uh, Murray's uh, tennis. Ruby Murray. And, and uh, you, you saw Jake it. Jake doesn't get it. Well, I'm just saying the pictures, right. Just, uh, <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's so not time you said Murray. <laughs> birthday with the boys, that, oh, I'm not even in the shop. That yeah. is sort of a, a hint to the next time, which you can let that sort of think about what that uh, could be. Birthday with the boys! As, as the week goes through and we get closer, we'll release more stuff. You know, oh, to, yeah. to get oh, excited God. about it. Wow. Myself, myself. Mate, this has come out really, really good. Oh. Well, that is saucy. What you want is a lot of sauce in your curry. That's enough. So that is a lot. Okay, Where right. Where have I got put it? I can't remember. <laughs> No, I've got it here, mate. I've got it here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've got it. Oh, shit! Yeah, what's the chips? Okay, right, serve your curry up. Serve your curry up. 
slap a few chips on the side because that is what we so do. Good for dipping. That's the English way. That is the English way. You can have your bread and all the rest of it, but let's be honest about it. Call you need some. Is that enough? Yeah, well, I was going to have it. Like, don't have have well, your chips. Well, have, you, you need popper doms, but get some chips wait, on the mom, side. Mum, what are you having? Boom! Boom! Oh, there we go. Right, now hang to on, see. Hang on, hang on, What? I'll just, actually, yeah, just show it and I'll say it after. What? Say what? What I was going to say is that next time, I think it'll be the best one yet. It'll be more interactive and competitive. The next one is going to be the big one. Everything you can think of, yeah. And we've a lot. We put planning into this one. A we lot put more. plan. We put a lot. We've actually thought about the next one. <laughs> and a little twist on the show is going to be me versus Jake. Um, Scott Pendergast from the UK oh. saying, "What age are you allowed to drive in England?" What what um, age do you allowed to drive from England? Oh. Seventeen is is the uh, to drive a car. Or you can get a, a motorbike up to 125 cc. Is it? 100 cc. Uh, you can get if you get a, a CBT Wait, license. It's 50 when you're. Anyway, why are we talking about driving license? 50 cc. 17. You're... Right. Anyway, we're done. This is this is this is the finish oh, article. Where, where's my spoon? Jake likes a bowl. Oh, there we go. Uh, Boom. Uh, Boom. There we are. Now we're gonna go and eat our food, and we have been. Get on. What are you done? Uh, man, what are you done, mate? Oh no, what have I done? What have you done? I don't know, mate. What have you done? Amanda oh, Jake and Winnie. What have you done? You're turning the wrong way around. What is going on? Let's just run it off. Turn it around. What have you done? Um, hang on. Turn it around, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> now you're freezing the oh, way. Oh, for God's sake. Anyway, this right. has been Cooking with the Boys.